skaters today uh, we're going to be doing a Mad Hatter auto tuner on XRP Ripple now I were we were talking in our private group on how to increase the frequency of our trades and I kind of know how to do that and so I want to show you what I have as a starting initial settings to increase the frequency of your trades but then also use the auto tune to then later on and kind of tune it in to kind of get it to maximize the ROI on that okay and it has to deal with these extremely large numbers uh, they're kind of like like really weird off like extreme numbers so let me switch over and show you what it's all about okay all right so we have something like this where buy level sell level is like very tight so it's always crossing so it's always constantly buying and selling whenever it's here it's selling whenever it's down here and if you kind of zoom in the orange line is above it it'll you know fire a buy, buy signal buy here buy here and that should be the orange on top okay and it should then cross the boiler bands for it to also create a buy signal too okay so it's just a very extreme type of number uh, in order to achieve this, look at the settings on the left. I think you can apply this to pretty much all the coins to get this type of characteristic. Where it's just volatile. Um, mainly the big the, the big things are the, the starting with MACD, the signal is something like a low number. That will kind of get this to always be on the buy line or on the sell line in extreme cases. Okay, so it doesn't even cross, I, I don't know if it, yeah, it doesn't even cross the bottom, but that's kind of what I've seen to get it to work this way okay now you can kind of make this go up a little bit by you know up to five or whatever just to adjust a few things but we're gonna let the auto tune and do all that stuff so you can kind of see it a little better and I believe that once the blue is on top then it will have a sell signal once the, uh, the orange is on top it will have a buy signal and then the, you see it kind of crosses here for the buy and it should break the boiler bands down here too okay so it's all kind of very tight on it you can see it uh, I'll zoom in a little bit. So let's see, just try to find a buy signal here. It's orange. Of course, it extremely breaks the, the buy band. And it should break the boiler bands out here. Can't really see it that well, but it's kind of tight. And uh, that's kind of what you need in order for these uh, sideways, not moving very much price action. Now, however, the fees do rack up quite a bit, I've noticed. Uh, which is the only thing that uh, I've noticed. Allowing the mid sales do increase the, the, uh, the frequency of trades. So I've kind of left that on. And I played with full candle close, that didn't really do much for me. And also for the boiler bands, um, starting at 1.1 for a dev up <clears throat> and then a 1.5 for a dev down. It's a pretty good way to do that. And uh, the minimum price to buy, 0.1. I've seen some people put zero for here for both of these, so you could buy in and out at a loss as two. Um, I put 0.2 so that you, know, you can at least trade without uh, uh, at least covering your fees. Um, but it does, uh, you're, you are taking a risk of holding a bag a little longer than, than normal if you, know, you don't, if you put that there, okay? So we can test both of those. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, I think I ran a back test already on this for a uh, one day. And uh, there it is, it just has a, a one buy and one sell for one day. Over two weeks, it does much more frequency of sales. I'll show you where the, the buy and sell is from here to there. And of course, it's not tuned, so. Now I'll show you the one in a, a two-week back test. Um, let's go for two weeks. Right. I'm not using the uh, the special thing yet, but uh, all right. And then on the two-week back test, you get about eight uh, percent. You do get more trades. Uh, it doesn't hold the bag for very long. Uh, I think there's probably a little bit of downturn here. I think you could probably break through this by not having that uh, minimum price to sell. And that should break through it, increase the frequency of trades. Um, whether or not it covers your fees or not, uh, that, that's another story. So it's pretty tight along the fee line. So at least uh, it, it held the bag because of this long, you know, part right there. So and it did buy somewhere a little higher, I guess, from up here on the downtrend. So we're gonna have to fix fix that, and not get into this position there. All right. So as long as we got something working and it's trading more frequently, then we can t use a tuner. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, do one more back test with uh, out any of these uh, minimum price to change and sells. Uh, you should be able to get more frequency of trades that way too. 
and you get a risk of doing negative. So, so there is a lot more trades throughout the day, tons of trades. And I guess that it's negative because of the fee. So let's look at that. Uh, let's see, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. So it does a very good job of following the trend. Some days there are some losses there. Buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. Uh, the solo. <clears throat> buy sell so it is able to buy and sell but it's buying and selling on a downtrend also uh, and your fees are um, are not cool <laughs> so let's see here oh, it may, oh it's also losing and it's making fees and it's doing that so um, let's go ahead and run it with this I'll, I'll tune to see if I the opportunity can recover it so I'm gonna pull this over here I'm gonna run a full one, but I'm just gonna do the MA first because that's the, the shortest one. See if that picks a better, a better one, and then I'll I'll probably do one round of settings, and then uh, I'll end the video there, and um, we'll see how it goes because it, it takes a while. I don't want you to sit through it. Uh, I will try to do a update if it comes out to be a good result, and then I'll do a second video. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna run the full thing then, and then uh, I'm just gonna let, run this video and talk about it. So this is going to do a, a moving average, then the settings, and then it's going to sh shrink the period from two weeks down to one day uh, as it increases the ROI for it. I'm going to build in the feature to maintain the trade amount, uh, the amount of trades, because we want to trade more frequently throughout the day, rather than um, a few here, a few there throughout the um, throughout the month waiting for a buy opportunity. That way, we're in the game more often. Okay, and uh, if we can pull in at least one percent a day uh, consistently that's more ideal than 15 percent 20 percent every once in a while kind of thing okay so let's go ahead and start this now and it's gonna load up all the oh i'm in the wrong area hold on let me go back to the trade block there he goes might have to restart i don't know so it's gonna gather information from the settings uh run a back test and then it's gonna <clears throat> go through the moving averages starting with the weighted moving average and it's going to see if you can find the best moving average and this one should take no more than maybe five minutes or so or less to go through the entire one uh, if you can't find a good positive ROI it'll then use what it has the, the, the best negative ROI and then uh, tune the settings there to increase the, the ROI that way. Okay. But it is more ideal if you can find a setting that it's in the green, kind of like the the uh, the golf analogy. You're the wood driver. Uh, we will be implementing some kind of uh, initial guess so that um, we can have these type of aggressive settings, or you want a more conservative setting, or whatnot and be able to split test it that way or uh, back test it that way because I hear a lot of people are having a hard time getting a good initial guess going before they start the tool so they can you know they, they don't know what to guess <laughs> alright so SMA I think we're so SMA seems to be the best one right now so we're going to stick with SMA now we're going to go oh mama okay we're not done yet mama and then we'll do Kava and Ima Dima. So we're getting some more buy signals going on there. Oh, that's even worse. So, yeah, definitely with uh, no stop loss, no minimum price to sell, no minimum price to buy, uh, you're going to have to have your, your tuning really up to up to par so we'll see what happens here who knows I'm, well at least this is a positive result but then the fees are uh, eating it up so we'll see positive gain So I think it's uh, say team is the best. 
so it's gonna reset the settings and then uh, put things back to normal <clears throat> so I just kind of rewrite everything just to make sure nothing's changed um, after that then we're gonna start on the first setting which is the minimum price to buy and then we'll work on the rest so we'll go through one full iteration and then we will see if there's any improvement throughout hopefully we get on the positive and then uh, it starts to progress from that point on hopefully that's not a bug there I think yeah I think I might have messed up because I didn't start it off properly in the beginning so I, I'm gonna break this loop and uh, start back up from that point on yeah it, it's not getting any initial settings so it's putting everything at zero so let me stop this real quick <clears throat> break the loop so to break the loop uh, just click on this part here and uh, it'll go through one full cycle and it should break the loop and once it breaks it's gonna restore everything or at least should yeah put everything back to normal and then it, it'll end So that way you always maintain the best setting uh, moving forward. Alright, so now that should, that should end, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a settings only. And uh, do a, I'll do my two loop. You don't have to, it, this will actually be set on its own, so I'll show you that. Oh, I just, I just undid the loop. Okay, I gotta leave this on. Okay, you gotta leave it on the whole time for it to um, um, break the loop. So let me just wait for the full cycle to end. Alright, so now it's ended. I'll leave this on and then I'll just start up from here and then it can then know it's the loop has broken but it'll reset it whenever you reset it, okay? Let's go ahead and start this up again. Make sure I have data on the side. Oh, I don't have perturbations, so let me I'll fix that. So now it's going to point 1 for the uh, minimum change to buy. And then it's going to move forward. So let's go ahead and let's monitor the, uh, the status here. The no improvement counter means that after it changed the first variable, nothing, nothing it didn't improve it at the situation at all. And then it's going to go on to the next variable, independent variable, variable 1, which is minimum price to sell of point 1. And did that give me a positive um, or improved ROI? If it did, it'll say yes or no. Okay. But I think I, I might have messed up on... Yeah, that's not a good example. <laughs> I think I messed up on... I need to start up right. So I see this is all zero. This is not cool. Uh, that, that means uh, I need to have a good initial start. And somehow I lost my settings because I need to start off right in the beginning. So let me go ahead and break it again. And let me do manually do a good start. And it will start up again. Yeah. Let me just do this. Point one. Minimum price. Oh, it's still running. Okay. Okay. So I one back test just to finalize everything. Go and fix everything. I'll, I'll just put it back to where I where I normally would do this, and I think that should get me something good. Let's see. No, I think there's something broken somewhere. Uh, no. I don't see any buy signals, so that's probably the reason. Let me switch this over to Timo again. Okay, there's some bikes in this. All 
Alright, so there it is. You can see the trades throughout the day. Uh, okay. Looks like this one got stuck maybe eight days, I guess. Let's see if we fix that. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and run from a green. I, I don't recommend running from red. I wouldn't do it myself, so I, I just just curious. Let's go ahead and start this over again. Uh, I'm running the whole full deal. So it's gonna uncheck the break loop once it starts the loop, so you don't have to uncheck it yourself. That way you can make sure that it completely breaks the loop before you uncheck it, and then it doesn't just start up again from like what I just showed you. So, all right, so. It's gonna be a longer, uh, a longer video now, so it's gonna probably go for, it's for a half hour. You can cut off here, and just fast forward to the end if you want to check out the end. Some move around just doesn't give too many buy sell signals. I like to say also on the scroll to the far right, we're gonna be working on a new uh, user interface after this. Um, probably gonna be adding the features of tracking how many trades it makes throughout the day first and kind of maximizing that also, because that's also important. Um, but till then, it just looks clunky. So these are the index. Um, starting from left is kind of basically all the the settings from left to, top to bottom, but left to right. So this is minimum price to buy, minimum price to sell, stop loss, and then you have your um, what is it? Your boiler bands, uh, dev up, dev down, uh, your deviation, or yeah, deviation, and then you have your RSI, uh, 50, 60 uh, RSI buy level, RSI sell level. And then your um, MACD down here, uh, fast slow signal, fast slow signal, and then your moving average type. And then this is your um, your gain, your fee, your profit. Oh, is it profit gain fee? Profit no, is it profit fee gain? And then your ROI. You kind of see which one is giving it the better one. So SMA seems to be doing pretty good. Tima, it's not as great. So after that, it's going to reset back to SMA. So that's the best, and I'll move on from SMA. So it puts everything back. Monitor the ROI from that one. So current best ROI. Is that right? No, I think that it should have made a little thing here to see if it's uh, zero zero. It should not be taking that information. Let's see here. I thought I saw a positive ROI. Yeah, now there's a two, so that's the current best, and it's gonna push that forward as the best setting. So apparently, uh, 0 0.9 helps with it. And now it's on stop loss, and so it's on the variable number two, so it's changing the stop loss. And then if it's number three, then it's changing BB length. And this is the, uh, when it went in the positive direction, it was negative 11 ROI. And so it'll just scrap it and move on to the positive, keep keeping the positive, uh, the best positive ROI moving forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this run now. I'm gonna keep this video where it is. I'll post an update, see where we're where we're at, see if the frequency of trades is helping. 
uh, we do want a higher frequency of trades throughout the day so we know that it's actually working where we're not sitting around waiting for a buying opportunity only have it buy once or twice in a month so um, hopefully that's helped you guys to um, have an initial setting that you can start with start with these really exaggerated numbers um, make your signals small uh, for the length the MACD signal and the Bollinger band length uh, that should help it be more volatile so that it will cross those bands more frequently and it will trade more often and then I'll run the auto tuner to see if it gets you um, more trades and a higher ROI but you know um, even if we get a lesser ROI it's okay because as long as we have a more frequency of trades it's more consistent in income rather than every once in a while we might get a big 30% or whatever but it's few and far in between or every once in a while okay all right guys thank you hopefully that's helped you guys if you guys are interested in, in um, being part of our advanced wolfpack group uh, just click on the link below it's an upgrade will be offered at the uh, uh, after you join the VIP group and you'll be able to get access to the auto tuner bot um, until I finalize it and pull it off uh, that'll be later on when it's all professional looking and officially like hey it's done it's a working product and uh, I, I can have a, an, an, another team to kind of help maintain it kind of thing so all right thank you you guys have a good one and I'll talk to you later